Uh, how do you feel being here on the blue carpet for the Guadalajara Film Festival? I am just grateful and honored that I get to be here, uh, particularly because I, I have the privilege to give Nava the award of El Arbol de la Vida, in which I was a recipient of, and so it's just like a 360 um, turn, right? Uh, and the fact that I get to be here, the fact that the Guadalajara Film Festival is inclusive and it's a place for all of us to not just be highlighted, but also acknowledged as artists and as people. It's just so beautiful and I'm just grateful that I get to be here. What does it feel like to be able to present somebody an award like the Arbol de Vida? Oh my God. It's, to me, it's, it's uniquely beautiful because I have known Nava for so many years, even before she started her transition. And the fact that I get to do this, right? The, the fact that I get to uh, present her con el árbol de la vida, which is the, the, the tree of life, right? It's just so meaningful and so beautiful. And, and I get to see her bloom, right? And blossom as the beautiful and amazing artist that she is. She's a writer, she's a, an actress, a director, you know, and, and I get to be here and support her and just see her shine, her light in the world. Uh, it's one thing that, you know, this is well happened for so, but it's here in Los Angeles. There's a big community here that, that is for the, uh, the Hispanic community. Uh, you know, what, what does it mean, like, mean to have this film festival here in Los Angeles? Well, you know, it means that we are now recognized, particularly within the Latino community, and be acknowledged, right? And even though there's still a lot of work that needs to happen with our own community to acknowledge members of the trans community who are Latino people, right? Um, it's beautiful that we're here in this moment and that hopefully with our presence and with our talent, we are able to open hearts and minds and we are able to change the world as it is. It's incredible that even though we're all people, the trans community still needs activists out there. Uh, for you, what has it been like in the, in the journey to be a, an activist and speak out for people? You know, I don't consider myself an activist. I always say that I am a servant to the people and I'm just grateful and honored that I get to do the work that I do. I always say that I have the best job that anyone can dream of and to lead the biggest translator organization as a Trans Latino Coalition. Uh, it's, it's an incredible honor and we are doing work to support our community, to change policies and to, you know, to do research to really highlight who we are as people and for us to be integrated into the tapestry of our society. And so I'm just honored that I get to do what I do and that, you know, and we're going to continue to do what we are doing and more. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.